I am in love. <laughs> I am in love with Lisa. We met two months ago. I knew almost immediately that this person was amazing. And to be honest, when I first met her, I did not consider her a romantic possibility. I just thought she's too amazing. This person is out of my league. And then as I started to get to know her and we spoke more and I felt like she was, there was a connection. And this old voice in my head was like, this woman is, you know, you're not worthy of this, this, this caliber of woman, this, this incredibly beautiful, wise, evolved, you know, this incredible human being. And, and this old voice was saying, you're not worthy. And then like this new voice that I've been working on for the last four, almost five months, uh, this new, this cultivation of trauma work and, and, uh, all the, the therapy and the somatic stuff and the breath work and the meditation and all the, all the work I've been doing on myself and the reparenting, it, that, like this new voice was like, you are worthy of this woman. And in the right moment, I asked her out. She said yes. That date lasted two days. And... Um, I told her I loved her before the date was over. Middle of the date, we met at a retreat um, in our spiritual community, and we before in the middle of our date, we sat down with the lead minister and had like a couple's counseling to talk about our intentions. And I mean, we knew immediately that this was a relationship that we wanted to invest in, and that we wanted to do the work to be together. And it has been so effortless and so amazing. And our communication is at a level like, I I feel like our the pace of our conversations are fast and there's so much humor in it. She just gets everything I say and we're laughing, laughing, laughing and so deep. And I'm constantly being inspired to thoughts that I then am writing down. And uh, so if you have noticed a, a pep in my step over the last two months, it is because I am, I'm in love. And it is a, a level of relationship that I have never been ready for. I feel like my whole life I've been training for this, uh, this holy relationship. I feel like our, our devotion is in service, not just to each other, but to our own growth, to the planet, to God. It is a it is like a dream. Uh, plus, she's so beautiful. Oh, I am I'm so smitten. So I am so grateful uh, for Lisa being in my life. I feel like I was led to her, which is a little bit of a longer story. I, 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 I made it to this retreat where we met by following uh, just intuition. If you remember, I was on a road trip heading north and instead of going north from Mammoth as my plans were initially were, I got a hit to go south and to go to this retreat. And I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna listen to this gut instinct, this thought that came out in therapy. I'm like, okay, let's follow it. And then I met uh, somebody that I was supposed to meet. So we are, in this beautiful state of going from an immediate, this is an important relationship, not knowing, does that mean for a moment? Does that mean for a lifetime? We don't know. And as we're getting to get know each other more and more and more, this connection just feels less and less crazy and more and more divine. So I'm so grateful for this place that I am in my life that where I can be ready for this and I can be the kind of human and man that can be that can show up for this level of commitment, this level of devotion, this level of reverence for uh, another human, and for the relationship itself. <laughs>